Everyone needs a place, a place to retreat to, a place to recharge, to refresh, to regroup, and come back better and stronger than before. Howard Coffin was searching for such a place early on in the 20th century. He was a successful Detroit automobile engineer. He searched for a place of relief from the pressures and the worries of his life. He searched up and down the Atlantic coast. He found his magical place at Sea Island, Georgia. Realizing that there were no resorts between Pinehurst and Daytona, Coffin launched plans to build one at this site. He pulled in his cousin and friend Bill Jones to oversee development of a hotel. Much of their planning was pure caution. Would they attract the people looking for a retreat? In 1928, the cloister officially opened for business with only 46 rooms. It featured Spanish Mediterranean architecture and a wonderful courtyard and fountain. Though the hotel has been expanded to 262 rooms, the original charm remains. The fountain water still dance in the courtyard. Southern hospitality is still the rule. A tradition at the cloister is the planting of live oak trees by distinguished guests. President Calvin Coolidge helped open the cloister that way. Other oaks commemorate the visits of Presidents Eisenhower, Ford, Carter, and Bush, as well as visits of the Netherlands Queen Juliana and Lady Margaret Thatcher. The Sea Island Company, founded by Coffin and Jones, owns and maintains the Sea Island Golf Club, the Cloister, and all the other Sea Island resort facilities. They see to it that comfort and casual luxury are the norm here, as they have been since the 1920s. For those looking for a healthy lifestyle, the resort boasts a world-renowned spa, the latest in exercise equipment, personal training and assessment, and aerobics instruction are all at your disposal. Also available are facials, massage, Swiss shower, reflexology, and other aesthetics treatments. Shooting enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the Sea Island Shooting School. Years of experience and skilled teaching techniques are combined to improve your aim. History dominates the surroundings here. The Avenue of the Oaks leads the way to the former retreat plantation. Now they lead to Sea Island Golf Club. Ruins from the Plantation Slave Hospital and cemeteries remain to this day. The clubhouse was expanded from an old corn barn. It still features tabby construction, where seashells are combined into the lime and concrete. Of course, that adds to the sense of charm and history. So when you're searching for relief from the pressures and worries of your life, remember where Howard Coffin built the perfect retreat, the Cloister, Sea Island, Georgia.